is going on guys it is your boy tkd once here back in here on PlayStation source with you with you what, 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 what am i saying this is with the people I don't, yeah i am with the people here we are safe slot podcast the weekly podcast here on PlayStation source revolving around any and all things playstation and with me you know what i'm gonna call this i don't know if i'll put it in the title right but this is definitely like the parents are out of town you know they went on vacation, yeah, yeah. you know. The boys are about to throw down. And the boys are about to throw down. All right. I yeah, got we already called up all the homies. Oh, oh 100%. 100%. That, that we have to social distance, but mm-hmm. Precisely. we can still party. We can know, still six party feet away. six feet apart. Absolutely. I agree. I agree. I agree. Hard. It would be, of course, my other boy with me with no parents is Jamel. How you doing, my good sir? Jamel right here. I'm doing well. Uh yeah, man. Uh, Brent usually is with me here, but his town just went on lockdown. Mine's been on lockdown. We were just kind of like, you know, we had already been hanging out before all this had gone down, right. like right before the lockdown. We were like, if we have it, we've already given it to each other. So, you know, whatever. But I, I mean, at this point, Brent just doesn't want to get in trouble. Right, so, uh, right, right, right. He, he stayed home and he was going to call in, but he was having some technical issues that he's going to try and get figured out before next week. Okay, so, cool. Okay, um, cool. Yeah. yeah, so he should be on next week. But uh, anyways, you can find me and Brent normally uh, uh, at GameSpeak Podcast, uh, which we uh, record live on Twitch at twitch.tv slash GameSpeak Podcast every Tuesday at around 5.30 p.m. And then uh, you can catch it on Apple Podcasts the following morning. Uh you know, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, all, all the platforms, Spotify, whatever. Absolutely. Yeah. So that's beautiful. it. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. And uh, I guess I'll speak on behalf of Tajay's absent. Uh, he was still dealing with moving stuff from his dorm to his house. And so he was dealing with that, all that. So uh, that's, you know, his thing. I don't think we will slander any of them this week. You know what I'm saying? No. I don't think we will slander anyone until we're over this like pandemic, and then we'll start slandering them if they miss shows. Yes. All right. But uh, yeah, last, I, yeah, but last week I blame OBS. All right. Yeah, we, we actually recorded a full episode last week. Uh, we had so it upset. ready for you guys. Um, I was so upset. I was so upset. I was so got upset. screwed. Yeah, that's just the way it goes, though. You know, technology doesn't like to be a homie. Uh, it likes to be a hater. It's and specifically OBS who likes to be a hater. Yes. OBS definitely. be wild sometimes. That's, that's, I don't know. It actually says, like, OBS actually says on the thing, like, if you, if you are recording video and it messes up, there is no way to get it back. Like, it literally says yeah, that. Literally. You start yeah, literally. And then it messes up. So <laughs> I hate it. I hate it, but oh well. I yeah. digress. Here we are. Another podcast brought to you by OBS. Hopefully. If you guys are watching this, OBS was a nice person or a nice application software, you know, but in spite of all that, Jamel, I don't know if you updated the doc with what you've been playing, but there is uh, just Warzone. But if you have other games, feel free to talk about them. I've literally been doing nothing but streaming and playing Warzone. I haven't seen that. I haven't seen that. All in, bro. I haven't seen Uh, that. Whenever you jumped in. The other day into my stream, it was whenever I first attempted a stream of Warzone and my internet or my Wi-Fi specifically couldn't handle me streaming and playing the game online at the same time. So I bought an Ethernet switch. Mm. So now I have an Ethernet plug to my laptop and to my Xbox One. So it's solid. Like I I can stream it now. Yeah, so I'm all good, bro. I've been streaming like every day just like, uh, me and my homies just hopping on. If you if you ever play Warzone, man, let me know. You we need to get on Warzone with me, definitely. Because yeah. I've been playing a lot of my warfare for the past like month or so, a lot of it. Uh, actually, ooh, a game that I didn't even add to the list. I'll add. I'll casually add to the list as well while while we're going. Um, so you can get my warfare. But uh, yeah, I definitely need to get on that at some point. But I've been playing like a little bit of multiplayer, and then when I get friends to play. With that's when we jump on Warzone. So I'm not the yeah. most fluent in Warzone. I can hold my own. You know what I'm saying? I could do, you know, what I can do. But I'm definitely more proficient in multiplayer, obviously. Um, but are you still enjoying Warzone? Everything's all good. I know they. Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah, uh, they added when, quads. They they did a lot of stuff to Warzone recently. Yeah, I mean, like it, it's they haven't really updated much. Like right now, they switched out. Um, uh, they switched out 
trios for some mode called uh spread or no uh like snipers and spray guns. Oh, gunners, oh, yeah. um, oh my god, I know what you're talking about where oh, it's like oh, shotguns it's and snipers, scatter or something, right? Like scatter guns, yeah, scatter guns, guns. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, right now you can't play trios. I don't know why they switched out trios for this, but I mean, I'm sure it'll go back. Uh, right. But just today, uh, it's snipers and shotguns. I've jumped into to that a couple times. That's pretty fun. But so far, I've won once on trios once on quads uh in both some pr fairly good wins like i had like close to 10 kills on each of the wins right um and then on solo the closest i've gotten to winning is nine kills and third place twice Damn. did that twice i, I just want to win solos once that's all i want I don't think I've won a solo game yet. Granted, I haven't played a lot of solo games, to be fair. I'm usually only playing with, like, then was trios. I haven't gone to a, to a quad yet, you know? Oh, dude. I haven't done you that. You got to jump into quads with me. I got I got four homies, or I got three homies that we could just hop on, and we'd have a full squad. Somebody, I actually had uh, somebody from the, uh, the uh, uh, PlayStation Source discord hop on with me and Ooh. one of my friends would you look uh, at that would you look at yes, that you love Stark. The oh shout out to the starks. oh starks big homie shot to him shot to him yeah he, he hopped on yeah. he like was like yo i want to show off my skills and i was like i don't know you but for sure dude i want to meet you so he he hopped on with there me and go. my boy aaron and, and we played some trios for a while on my stream you love so. to see that and of course you can follow that said discord down below in the description the Plays and Swords Discord. Good guys all there all around. But have you have you just been playing Warzone? Is that That's literally literally it. It? Like, Bro, I feel I'm you. I'm addicted, I feel dude. I feel I'm you. addicted. I feel you. I feel you. <laughs> I mean, I guess now that we're talking about addicted, right? I think I need to just get the elephant out of the room here. Um, I have been playing Final Fantasy VII Remake. Oh, right? dude. How how's it going? Oh my god, Javel. How far are you? So I'm not no spoilers. So, due to me having to work these past two days, I haven't made any progress since Saturday. And I am like five and a half hours in. If you what, Have you played the original Final Fantasy VII? Because I can give you like yeah. a story beat that much. Okay. I just finished the, oh my God, Sector 7A something where we stopped by Jesse's spoilers. Spo uh, let me, let me let's start by that. Spoilers. I guess light spoilers for just I'm just saying where I what I just did. All right, guys, that's all I'm saying. So spoilers if you're really sensitive about Five by Seven remake. Um, I went to Jesse's house, and I had to steal uh hit her her dad's like uh 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 not like doctor's card but like employee swipe card to oh, swipe okay. into the sector that he works at. And his mom was making pizzas for the rest of the gang. And, like, Jesse, you know, was like, all right, while my mom's making pizza for, you know, me, Biggs, and Wedge, uh, you go into my dad's room and steal the cards so we can go and do the thing. So I don't know if I remember that in the original game. Have really? you gotten to the end yet? Like, or... Uh, oh, I, to okay, the I, I'm Okay. This is... I would rather talk... <laughs> I don't want to get spoiled. Okay. Well, uh, let me no, try. Because the thing is, is I've heard that there's a lot of differences. Yeah. Yeah. Like there's, there's like a lot of new stuff. So I've heard as well. Yeah. So I've heard as well. Um, let me think. Okay. So, uh, okay. I know that the dominions, the, the like, okay. So what I think is new from the remake is those like black gray, like ghost things. Yeah. Okay, so that's new. So you don't know about that. No, I, no, I have heard about it though. Yeah, okay, I've yeah, heard I a heard lot about, about the game. Like, uh, I'm, and whenever I said no spoilers, I didn't mean no spoilers for me. I'm not really like, oh no, don't spoil it, because I probably won't play it till it comes to like Xbox and PC later. Right. You know? So like, it'll be a long time before I play it. But uh, I just meant for like the people listening. Yeah. Like, I, I mean, for me too, because I don't want to get spoiled. We usually, oh, well, are you at X, Y part? Like, <laughs> yeah. oh, man, well, shoot. Um, I'm trying to really think. So I'm about to go on a mission. I'm replacing Jesse because Jesse got hurt oh, in okay, a particular okay. way. 
So I'm replacing her on this job that they're about to do. Gotcha. I don't know if that even answers your question, but I'm five and a half hours into the remake. Okay. So about five yeah, hours in. Yeah, yeah. Um I am obsessed. And the game's like what, like thirty hours or something like that? I've heard I've been hearing like mid to upper thirties, like forties, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Like it's definitely a meaty game, but um I've been loving it. I have I oh my god, dude. Like I wrote an impressions video that I, I was so I like like it was a weird thing because Friday and Saturday I play it. And Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, all I've wanted to do is just play this game. And it has been a while. And you know what? Actually, the the last game to do that to me was God of War 2018. Was the really? last game that was like, I am obsessing over this game. Like, I need to play it. You know, that's good. That's, I love that's it. Awesome. I love it so much. Like, there's a full impressive video of like by like full thoughts on it. Um, but I don't know what it is. Like, I'm just so drawn and want to know about these characters. I want to know their dynamic towards each other. I want to see how you know, like the like tension between uh you know Cloud and oh my God, come on Kev, hold on, Barrett, uh evolves i want to see more of tifa trying to get cloud to talk about his past and like how they used to be friends and all that i want to keep seeing you know jesse try to get at cloud you know like <clears throat> like all of it is it's just super super cool like like yeah. i'll not it, explain that's it the main thing about the yeah. game is and it's the style it's you so know, like, stylized it's so much style yes I and, and like that's I think that's what drew most people in. At, I mean, also, as you know, whenever we were kids and it, it originally came out, it wasn't just the fact that the graphics are so like they were next level or anything like that was a huge part of it. But it was also just the style, like yeah. the steampunk like feel to it and this whole like cool anime story that's going on. You know, you just get drawn into that stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, recently, I think we've talked about before, but, like, I recently got into, I'm not, I don't know if I can say that I'm into anime, but I have been very much into My Hero Academia, you know? Yeah, yeah. And I can see, like, ah, like, Final Fantasy is, like, very anime influenced. Like, okay, I see now. Like, I, okay, I, like, I understand this now, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, yeah. It's like if if you took an anime and you made it look real. Like that's that's what it 100%. is. Like, I mean, Cloud looks like an anime character, like dead ass. Like, absolutely, like, it's so like, weird because like he looks like a real person, and it's then you weird. look at his hair and you're like, "What?" <laughs> it's weird. Like, I mean, like I, I, I mean, yo, shout out my boy Cloud. Shout, yeah, dude. shout out the homie Cloud. You know what I'm saying? Um, I also like, I also like, um, I like Biggs a lot. I hope Biggs gets yeah. gets gets a little bit more recognition because I like Barrett, bro. Barrett is yo. I know Barrett had a daughter, bro. Yeah, wait, what? Hold on. Yeah, it could the little girl, the the Yeah. Isn't that his little, daughter? Yeah. Okay, good. I, I'm like, wait, like, is it not? Like that's what I thought you were like. you were saying I don't uh, or I didn't know he had one as like it was like a big surprise. I mean I to me it was. I mean I mean I had not true. heard okay. that. Yeah. You yeah. didn't go back and play the game or the original. I thought you were gonna go back and play the original. I, I thought about it. I don't know. Didn't but do it. No, what, that's fine. What I do think will happen is that, of course, as we all know, this remake is like the first installment. And from what people have been saying that 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 beat the game, they're saying that, yo, like this game is like maybe 10 percent of the story, like maybe yeah. 20. So I'm like, man, like if it's that little of it, I'm going to probably run through the original. And yeah, just... I hope they actually finish this. Like that's the that's the problem Dude. is like. How are they going to finish this? You know, like it, it's going to take them years and years to finish this whole story. I They're mean, going to have to remake the the first remake before they can. Like by the time they finish it, <laughs> it's going to be so old. Here's the Final Fantasy VII Part One remake of the remake. Yeah, <laughs> you're welcome. The remaster. Yeah, like, the remaster of the remake of the original of the Part One. <laughs> like freaking crazy, dude. I don't know, but hey, I mean. I don't like this is a very similar game to like for me Death Stranding, right? Like Death Stranding, yeah. you know, I was like 
eh, wishy washy on it, you know. And never, and never played the Kojima game, never played Metal Gear, you know. So I'm like, yeah, like you know, like I don't know if I'm day one, but like, it certainly looks cool. And then a trailer came out, like I forgot which trailer it was. It was like during the summer. And I was like, you know what? Let me just let me just play the game. Let me just play Dead Stranding. I think it's important for me to play it, you know, as a PlayStation connoisseur, if you will. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and I ended up loving that game, right? And this yeah. and this I wasn't really always sold on Final Fantasy VII until I got into my hero and until I played Pokemon Sword for the first time, you know? And, yeah. like, uh, understanding those things, like, okay, you know what? Like, maybe I could, like, I think I, think, I, think I, I could like Final Fantasy VII Remake, you know? Oh, and yeah, dude. here I am. You, you know what's really funny is, like, that's got to be a really fun, like, uh, experience to have like just experiencing it all as a as a new thing again like when I, I remember as a kid for the longest time I, I really liked steampunk stuff but I didn't know what it was I didn't know what it was called like yeah, I would just like right, draw right. it and I would li- like and I can't really draw but I would like I always like to do artistic things and I would like draw it and be like oh this is like my style I love this thing and somebody was like oh that's steampunk and I was like what they're like, yeah, like Final Fantasy VII, like, you know, like the steampunk look and stuff. I'm like, that's what I've been trying to fucking remember this whole time. Yeah. You know, like yeah. it just clicked with me when I was like 12. And like I, I finally understood, went down that rabbit hole. But <laughs> Dude, so. I had a similar, like I like steampunk, right? But like there's, an, there's another thing that is close to steampunk that I always forget the name of. And it's gonna kill me this whole episode. Is it cyberpunk? I'm, no, it's not. It's not. <laughs> it's not cyberpunk. It's like I forgot what it is, but it's close to like that, like steampunk. Like it's in the steampunk family. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but long story short, Final Fantasy VII remake has been amazing. I will have more thoughts next week for sure. Um, okay, ready. things that we didn't, things that I went over last week, but it's lost in the forever lost episode, episode eleven, lost forever. Hate to see it. Tragic. Uh, I yeah. beat I beat Pokemon Sword. Thor- oh, nice! For the, for the most part, enjoyed my time. Um, I felt that I wish there was a little bit more difficulty in the game, but considering the you know clientele it's for and the age you should have probably played Pokemon as, and not a twenty two year old man, I understand it. You know what I'm saying? But overall, I enjoyed my time with Pokemon Sword. Shout out to that. Yeah. Re three. I like Re three. I don't love it like I did Re two. I think I sway towards more the more like suspenseful, um, like tension heavy, Resident Evil, which was Resident Evil Two, as opposed to Resident Evil Three, which was more action. Uh, but I still don't, you know, enjoyed it nonetheless. Doom, wow! I beat all these games. Jesus, Doom Eternal. <laughs> um, I love Doom Eternal. I love that they doubled down on the like bit of like. The dance that they taught you, quote unquote, in Doom 2016, and just added more moves to it, and added more you can do with it. You know, I love Doom Eternal, very, very good. Um, honestly, there are some parts of Doom Eternal that, to me, I feel like will be head to head with Titanfall 2 campaign, which is well beloved this this gen. Like, I think it's really, really well done. New Horizons, Animal Crossing, I'm still obsessed with, still doing my thing with. Um, so trying to get KK Slider in there. I am also on the Tarantula Hunt gang. I am Tarantula Hunting every night, making those bells, you know. So shout out to New Horizons. Uh, what do we got? Hmm. Modern Warfare, we talked about that already. So Modern Warfare, thumbs up all around. On the 4, I beat it. I cried. It's on stream on the channel. Check it out. I get very emotional towards the end of it. Uh, it's a great end to Nathan Drake's story. Um... Other than I feel like in the middle when they go to the second flashback, there is some pacing issues there. But overall, I think it's a great game. I think my ranking is four, three, two, one in terms of the in terms of the Nathan Drake story. I digress. Twin Breaker. Are you a fan of Colin Moriarty? Love him. Have you played Twin Breaker yet? I haven't. I don't. Ooh, I don't have. Boy. Go ahead. I don't have a Vita. One, two. I feel like that's the ultimate way to experience it. But uh, I do have um, a PS4. I guess I could get it, um, I, and I probably will. I might just buy a physical copy of the Vita version just to buy it, even though I don't have it. Are you or, aware? It. Are you aware that it's cross buy? I am. Oh no, I didn't know that. Okay, okay so, so that's something that you should know. 
So, so I could buy the physical Vita version and still play it on my PS4? I don't know if that's how it is. I know if you buy like the ten dollar PlayStation Four version, you have it on your Vita. You you gotcha. can use that it. So that's what I did. Uh, I did want to play it on Vita, and I've yet to play it on Vita. I actually played it on PS Four, just because I want to record some gameplay of it. You know, like eventually I want to like talk about that game on either PlayStation Source or Joy Clicks. Um, I recommend it, but I will say, it is very difficult. Hold on. I don't think it's very difficult. I think it's just a mind bender. Like it, it like will. It's literally like rubbing your stomach and tapping your head. Like having to handle all those paddles, you know. Like it's it's all fun and dandy until like the twenties of the level counts. Like when you get to the twenties, that's when you get the twos, the two paddles on the side as well as the bottom two paddles. So having oh, to God. like control those, it is. How many how many levels are there? Forty. Or 40. do you know? Forty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's so honestly, I beat it within like two days. You know, it's a very very like small game, but I loved it. I thought it was really cool. Yeah. The story is very Colin Moriarty, but it's a great one at that. You know, a lot of people were complaining about the story, but I'm like, if you really didn't like it or didn't want it, you just don't know Colin Moriarty. That. Yeah, like- yeah, yeah. That you clearly aren't a fan of him. Or two. You can just press triangle to skip. So it's like, you know, if you don't want it, there's your I, answer. I was but. kind of hoping that they would go for a different type of uh, game. I mean, no, no, there's no problem with them making a brick breaker. But I, and I know why they did it because they just wanted to hit a market that's not, you know, like completely full. You know, like if yeah, they would have yeah, went for yeah, anything yeah. else, it probably wouldn't have sold as well. Right. But, uh, I'm hoping that now that they have put it out and it did sell really well, that they'll do another type of game. Like I really want a JRPG. No, that's what like, that's what they said that they are they are gonna do that. They are gonna do that. Okay, yeah. that would be the yeah. smartest possible thing for him to do. That's like his thing. Thing, yeah. you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally. They, yeah, they they said that they're gonna do another Twin Breaker as well, like uh, a sequel. Um, but JRPG is definitely on from what they discussed. I'm not saying that like that's like set in stone, but they have okay. definitely discussed it, like, yo, like we are making a JRPG at some point. You know, that would be great. So like, I can only imagine what that would be like. Yeah, for sure. Twin, twin, twin breaker. I definitely, uh, definitely liked it. And and I and I am gonna play it on the Vita because you get two different trophy, uh, versions. Not versions, but like they have they they split the trophies up by by platform. So. You can okay. replay it on, like, each platform and get trophies for it. So, that's all good and dandy. Uh, Uncharted Lost Legacy. Been playing that. It's my last Uncharted in the uh, stream series here on the channel on Plays and Source. You can check it out as well. If you missed any of the streams, you can check out the playlist and see them all in their, in their fine glory. Um, I've been loving Lost Legacy. Uh, overall, it's very, very great. Obviously... It feels a lot like Uncharted 4 because, of course, it was built off the back of Uncharted 4. It was meant to be a DLC for the game, but then they it, it blew up and it became its own game, uh, you know. But I think it's great. It's it, it's great seeing Chloe back. It's great seeing it's great seeing Nadine back, and it's also really interesting seeing how Naughty Dog, you know, always talked about how like, hey, Lost Lost Legacy, we wanted to really like you know, go into what a hypothetical open world game would be from us, right? And yeah, I don't think it's like a perfect open world, right? Just because, hey, it's a first bat, you know? It's not the most perfect open world. Like, I don't love it, but I still think it's neat that we got a naughty dog context of, like, what would a hypothetical, like, open world game or because it's not an open world game. Let me let me be that clear. There's There are parts that are designed for them that they've said that we wanted to mimic an open world game. You know what I'm saying? Like they, they were just like testing things out. Um, and it's cool. So yeah, I, I think uh, yeah. if I got any IP from Naughty Dog to be open world, I would want it to be Last of Us. Like Dude. that just seems more ripe for a, a an open world game. Not that I want it to be, but if they were to do an open world game, right. just give us a open world Last of Us. Interesting. I don't, yeah, I don't, I'm, because... I just don't know if, like, the story would be as strong if it was an open world. You know, granted, of course, we've had great games that are open world that have great stories in it. 
you know, like it's not like that's this, like streaming, impossible. No, I mean, you know, some, I mean, you know, you know, I mean, you know, <laughs> I mean, uh, <laughs> like, I said that like five times. Um, I would put AC Odyssey up there. Sounds great. Odyssey has one of like the, the great story open world games. Um, I like Watch Dogs a lot. You know, I know it's not the best story in the world, but I still like Watch Dogs. So, I mean, it could definitely be done. Uh, but overall, things very, very good. Grand Theft Auto Five had a great story. I didn't beat Grand Theft Auto Five story. Oh man, I have yet You'll to do love that. it. I have yet to do that. And the last thing I played, and then we will get to topics. I swear, is Modern Warfare Two Remastered. So I'm in the middle of streaming that Twitch.tv slash Joy Clicks. Uh, I'm there, you know, doing that whole thing. And I first did my first stream yesterday. I gotta be honest with you. I'm not loving it as much as I thought I would love it. Even with the no Russian? No, I'm just kidding. Even with the no Russian, man. It, it's it's jarring. I think I need to just still mellow on my thoughts, but they change a lot of the gun sounds, and I'm not appreciative of that. You know, like the – I mean, wait. Did you play Maw for 2? Yeah, like way back in the day. The intervention sounds completely different. The P90 really? sounds completely different. The ACR sounds completely different. The M4 it, sounds completely it, different. It's bad. It's like in a bad way. I promise you it's in a bad way. Like it doesn't sound like a real gun or what? No, it's just all the guns sound the same. And I understand. All right. I understand. You know, I don't own a weapon of, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I do understand that. Like, yeah. Generally speaking, a lot of guns sound very similar. Right. There's obviously some some, some outliers. But at the end of the day. I understand that a lot of guns in real life sound very similar, you know, but I think that them updating these sounds were worked in their worked in a negative fashion, you know, because like I didn't understand like how much nostalgia I tied to Maw for two, just to the gun sounds, off of the sounds truly like, like like off the sounds like you you right now in your head know how a UMP forty five sounds. Yeah, suppressed or unsuppressed, you know it. I know you do. ACR, I know you, uh, intervention. I know you know it. I promise you, none of them sound the same. Hmm. Like that the, is strange. Like the model eighteen eighty seven sounds close, close enough. The 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 FAMAS sounds close. The Barrett fifty cal is the only one that's like the most consistent. You know. I mean, it's all the the weapons that are in war zone, though, right? Uh, well, like some of the it, no, I guess not. No, no, no. Because there's like the, the the uh MP4 is in war zone, and I didn't really notice anything. Uh, there but were, it, it might just be because like I'm not really paying attention to it as like Modern Warfare Two. I'm just like, oh, this is war zone. You know, it's yeah, like its yeah, own thing. yeah. Because like there is the MP. SK in Modern Warfare 2. It's not a full MP5. Like, it's a mini, like, the, like, mini version of the MP5. Like, the MP5 SK, mm-hmm. I think it's called. Um, that has a different sound. I think that's just been, like, throwing me off. And honestly, like, I think, like, the last point I'll make about Marvel 2 Remaster and, like, why I'm not, like, vibing with it, I don't think. I think it just boils down to that, hey, Marvel for 2 came out in 2009. Right? And it was, yeah. it was built upon that version of the quake engine that we have just updated the shit out of that engine and it's just no longer that you know it's yeah, that's freaking at, crazy at, that it came out that long ago yeah i hadn't even graduated 11 years ago high school yet. 11 years ago it's crazy it's crazy but like wow. i think like you know that that version of the quake engine is just not what they're using you know, no. So, so I feel like the overall like feel of the game would inevitably change if they ever did a remaster. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just how it goes. Um, so I think that's what run me the wrong way a little bit. Not that like I want them to use old versions of like game engines, but like I think my nostalgia is tied to how that game intrinsically feels. Yeah. You know, and it's different from like a remake. Like you're not gonna feel like any. Like, sort of, like, animo- not, like, animosity, but, like, any, like, negative feelings towards, like, FF7 Remake. Just because it's, because, like, there's there's a lot bigger of a jump from that point. And, like, we're, and, like, from 
the remake gets like a third person, you know, action, uh, you know, game as much as it's turn based, you know, as opposed to the original being just turn based, very limited in scope, you know, pixel based, all that good stuff, whatever, not pixel, polygonal, you know, all that. But I think because Marvel 2 and Marvel 2 Remaster retain the same format of game, still being a first person shooter, right? That it it like it's still like you still play it the same it just doesn't feel the same because yeah. of the engine you know so i don't know i mean i have yet to beat it i'm sure maybe when i beat it i'll be a little more positive on it but i'm not the most i get what positive. you're saying there just wasn't yeah. enough time in between this I think remake and the original yeah 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 yeah, yeah. and and I, I don't think i can forgive the gun sounds you know, I can get you wanting it to make it sound better, but like they just don't sound like the inner dude. I want you to go look at the intervention sounds in Marvel 2 Remastered because it's like borderline offensive. You know, I have to hear that. I'm going to have to hear this, man. It is wild. Check bro. this out. It is wild. But yeah, I haven't played the the uh, remake at all. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I digress, though. Moving on. There's only two co- two topics I kept from last week uh, into the main slew of topics, and that is that we got the PlayStation Five Dual Sense controller. We got we it in, in 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 all the, the glory. The fact it's called a Dual Sense is crazy in itself. Yeah, that's that's quite. I mean, like if they're gonna double down, like hey, like you know, there was even people talking about how like hey, they might even call the next generation PlayStation just PlayStation, you know. Like and and just drop the number, but like it, if you're gonna keep on the number, but then change the controller name, it just seems weird to me. But I don't know. Yeah, like I mean the fact that we, I mean no more Dual Shock, man. That's yeah, just like insane. what the hell? Dual Shock sounds great. The fucking Dual Shock yeah. Four, right here. I, I get 4. what they're saying. I get what they want you to take away from this. Like, I get that they're like, we want you to sense the game. You're going to feel the game. Gonna, you know, like. You're going to feel the haptic but, feedback and the triggers. You know? Yeah. It's like, but, I mean, eh, you know, like, it's DualShock. Like, everybody associates DualShock with PlayStation. I don't know if this was the time to make such a drastic change. You know what yeah. I'm saying? At least in the name. Like, I don't The controller looks fine. The controller looks cool. You know, it might look a little aesthetically weird, but like, um, you know, as a name sake, shock is just what everybody knows. It's what they love. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. I agree. That's I agree. just me, though. I, no. I, I, you know, I'm an outsider. I'm, right. I'm an Xbox player. Like, I personally am an Xbox controller fan. Right. You know, like, so uh, looking at this, I love the way this controller looks. It looks more like an Xbox controller to me. You know, so yeah, like yeah. I mean, it still has parallel analog sticks, which is always going to be an issue for me, but this guy, <laughs> this freaking guy. Yeah. This guy. <laughs> it's like you can paint it an Xbox controller, but you know, it's still not wow. one until you you just move. I think just... honestly, I can go either way because the uh, Pro controller my switch has offset sticks mm-hmm. and i literally have never thought about it that's so crazy i mean never. I, I don't know how you jump between it's them. weird like analog ambidextrous i don't know if it's that like i've spent so much time with one no but that doesn't make sense because like if i have gone my whole i've literally got my whole life in line sticks playstation literally you know yeah and the, and the pro controller is like the second controller that is not PlayStation that I've spent a lot of time with. And I literally don't pay a no mind. It is like I can it it's it's like uh, yep, yeah, I'm the, here's a controller. I'm playing the game. And I have maybe, no issue. Maybe going from inline to the offset Ooh. is easier than going from the offset to the inline I because see. like yeah, I'm perhaps. so used to this, you know, and then it goes to here and they're so close to each other that you can touch thumbs if you want you it's know like weird it's weird it, cuz like I don't know. yo wait i've never no nah, i don't know i don't know i just I have digress. big ass thumbs yeah, i mean bro i feel you <laughs> but <laughs> but some quick details to ramble on about the dual sense 
play the it's not even called I can't even call it the dual sense five because it's that's incorrect. The dual sense it's, it's just dual sense dual one. Sense. It's yeah, zero. It's like we're 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 doing the doing the start back at one, but I die. Grass. So things I want to just bring up here, of course, it's featuring a two-tone design. The probably biggest thing that's been talked about overall is the white and black aesthetic. Um, that as well as the light bar changes. They have they now have like strips of light towards either side of the touchpad. Yes, the touchpad is returning to the PlayStation controller. Uh, cool to see that. I guess you know, neither here or there doesn't really get used that much, but it's just a big options button to me. So oh well, you know, oh well. Um, as well as they added the haptic feedback into the triggers, so you'll be able to feel the tension of a bow hypothetically and like the, uh, you know, mud on the ground if you're in a racing game and stuff like that. They adapted the share button to now be what they're calling a create button. They'll have more details on that in the future, but they pretty much said that it'll be the share button, just bigger and better features. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, USB Type C as well to the controller. That's a great addition as well. Um, they also add in a built-in microphone array into the controller as they, you know, make it very abundantly clear that hey, you probably don't want to do this for a long time, but it's good to have it yeah, just in case. You don't want to like, do that at all. It, yeah, it, I mean, um, it, it, yeah. that's my my opinion on that. Is like, when is that going to be helpful? That's going to suck know. for like if you're in a chat with somebody and they can hear your TV playing back into your controller. You know, like, because I'm assuming you don't have a headset if you're using that mic that's built into the controller. Uh, I mean, I guess you could have, like, you know, headphones, you know? Yeah, like, yeah, uh, yeah. I, I see don't that. know. I mean, I can kind of see the use in terms of, like, entering stuff into the PlayStation 4 in terms of text. Because, like, the Apple TV, I'm always talking to my Apple TV remote to, like, type things on my TV to, like, search for something or, like, you know. Oh. So I could see, like, a, you know search bar it enables a microphone and you can just say final fantasy 7 remake part 2 on the place oh that store. would be cool i didn't, I didn't think about it like that so like but... yeah like if it's, just, if it's for supplemental things like that to like interface with you talking to the playstation and not other people i i guess that could be interesting you know but um but yeah is playstation gonna get its own like alexa you know i mean or, or the like... playstation 4 does have like voice command like capabilities like you can tell it hey playstation you know turn on uh you know oh, okay modern warfare and like it'll do it it's not great but it'll do it i have only used Gosh. it like a few times just because just like it's easier to just click over and just open the application just like that but technically they 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 do have that functionality already so i mean you know so I guess that's the benefit I see from it, but I will never be talking to it like as like the main <laughs> mic. No way, no way, no way, no way. Um, anything else? I think that's pretty much the bulk of it. I watched me miss something crazy big. Um, the the light or like the the you know sensor light or whatever is now like built into the front somehow. Like it's just oh, like kind of right, like, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's that. Um, oh, the home button is just a PlayStation like logo instead of like a button with the logo in it. It's actually the like shape of the PlayStation logo, which is pretty cool. You know, it it, it reminds me of Xbox 360, how its yeah. home button was like, or it still is thinking? on the Xbox. It one. is right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. I, mean, I mean, the Xbox but has the, but the logo is a circle. a circle, right? Yeah. So right, it's not so. like a PlayStation logo, which is like a bunch of like. I don't know how to explain how that. Do you know what that is? Wait, do you know what it is? Let me blow your mind. What is it? So the PlayStation logo is a P with the shadow being an S. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't know what shape that would be. You know what I'm saying? Oh, like, a, oh, like, oh, like, what's it called? Oh no, I mean, I, mean, I, I thought you were. Gonna, I thought there was like a name for it that oh, I just no. didn't know. I thought you were gonna be like. Of course, bro. It's the 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 Piesta gone. You know, the, <laughs> the Piesta gone. Yeah, no. I mean, I, I remember blowing my friend's mind like two years ago. He's like, "Oh my god." I'm like, "Yeah, like you know that." He's like, "Dude, I've no, had places in my like whole I, life and never even know that. That's crazy." I feel like I only know that because they must have mentioned that on Beyond at some point or something. But like, I've heard that before. Like, I, I, just, I knew. Yeah, I feel that. I just remember looking at it one time and I was like, "Oh." Uh, no, I was trying to draw it. And, like, as I was analyzing, I was like, oh, wait, no. It's just that it, the S is the shadow of the P. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, yeah. No, it, so the thing about it, though, also is that we didn't mention this. There was something that we didn't mention. 
Oh, the, the, the colors color? of the buttons. The buttons oh, are colorless now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no green triangle. You know, there's no, I mean, right here, as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, the great yeah. sacred symbols and their colors. The sacred symbols. The sacred symbols. Um, I got to tell you, not the biggest fan of that. Granted, the Vita, and I believe, wait, all the PSPs actually. Yeah, the the handhelds never had colored buttons. They they, always... they had color in the buttons though, right? Or is it? Are you just thinking of the D pad, right? That no. doesn't have. I mean, I know for sure the Vita does not have colored buttons. I know that for. I a gotta fact. look that up. Honestly, the PSP. I may have been so young that I don't remember them, but I'm pretty sure those didn't have them either. Um, but there's also been like a lot of really cool renders that have been going around that the when you turn the controller on, they might have colored lights that are colored in the colors that they would be respectively. But it looks like the controller is on in the pictures that we've seen and there aren't they they aren't colored, you know? So I mean maybe wow. you know, maybe they are colored. I guess that's right. Yeah, yeah. None of the handhelds have had colored uh you know buttons on them which is odd but i digress but yep ps5 dual sense controller let us know what you think about down below in the comments now uh another thing that we got i guess bring up here since uh last week is that e3 2020 the online events we knew that the in-person event was canceled the online event that they were trying to line up and trying to get together uh was indeed canceled as well due to a lot of different things but they say here that quote given the disruption brought on by the COVID-19 pandemic we will not be presenting an online E3 2020 events in June instead we'll, we will be working with exhibitors to promote and showcase individual company announcements including our www.e3expo.com in the coming months so looks like they're gonna somehow like be promoting stuff you know still uh, but there was some weird stuff going on about this online event about how like um, they were they reached out to IGN to help them and the IGN said no. Uh, they reached out Damn. to the, yeah, I mean because they announced their other event that 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 they're doing on their own. Yeah, uh, IGN's doing their own thing. Yeah, yeah. So they also tapped Angie or Renee, which if they were to get Angie or Renee, I think that would have been a fine choice. You know, I think she's great. Um, yeah. But uh, they, with uh, what's her what's her thing? It's like uh, what's good games? What's good games? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So big shout out to what's good games. Shout out to Andrea. Uh, but they also oddly enough tapped Good Morning America. Of all things, which I'm like, so weird. What do they know about games? <laughs> like, like that's that's what I'll ask. Like, what do they know about games? Simply, I mean, I, it looks like they don't really have any other option. They're like, we'll just take anybody at this point. They probably yeah. should have just hit up PlayStation Source. You know, that's what yo, bro, I'll host it. What's <laughs> up? Yo, just, just don't, chilling, bro. Oh, bro, I would host that in a heartbeat. That'd be lit. Oh, yeah. Can you imagine? I'd take back every bad thing I ever said about E3. Bro, you know? <laughs> man, I, man, E3, pff, never dead. What you mean? Anyway, yeah. uh, so I've and, always thought it was going to survive for real. So, starting in June. Uh, we do have our supplements for E3, which will be which will be interesting to see how it all pans out. But IGN has announced the Summer of Gaming event, which is touted by them as a global digital event set to begin this June to bring you the latest news and impressions around upcoming games and next generation of console hardware. So they have a lot of partners already, uh, you know, including 2K, 2K Square. Square Enix, Sega, Bandai Namco, Amazon, Google Stadia, Twitter, Devolver Digital, THQ Nordic, as well as, you know, the major, you know, Sony, Microsoft, and uh, PlayStation as well. So, damn, that's some sleight of hand for E3 right there. They basically swooped in, took everyone. Um, I mean, not everyone. There's still a couple missing, but the, yeah. those are some pretty big names that you typically see it on the E3 show floor and conference stage. So, like, um, you know, it is it is yeah. kind of yeah. I, I bet whenever E3 came in, it was like, oh well, you know, how about you, you know, do this for for E3, you know, call it E3. They were like, uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> no, you know we kind of already got it all. We don't really need to slap your name on it. Straight you know? up, straight up. That's crazy. Yeah. 
Betray that. ESA I mean, is just crying at home, like tr- betrayed. <laughs> I mean, I'm very curious as to like where is Activision. I know Bethesda said that they aren't doing one, but like there's there's okay. Definitely IGN got a lot of the big names, but there's definitely a few that I'm like, okay, like where are they? And yeah, they where's may, Activision? And they may be at Jeff Keighley's thing. So as you all know, Jeff Keighley used to host YouTube. Uh, what was it called? Oh, E3 Coliseum that yeah, was yeah. Uh, presented by or with in tandem uh, with YouTube. And, um, and you know, they, they would do that whole thing. But Jeff Keighley has announced his next, uh, you know, summer of coverage of gaming. So it says here off his Twitter, for the past few months, I've thought about a new global and digital ways we could celebrate games this summer. Today, the announcement of the Steam Game Festival Summer Edition is the first preview of what's coming together. The festival will also expand to more platforms. So that's kind of weird that it's Steam, though. Yeah. Like, oh, why is wait. Steam you know what? Honestly, before I even read read too deep into this, and it just clicks. Like I have read this tweet a thousand times. I thought by platforms he meant like, oh, you know, like it'll be on Twitch, it'll be on YouTube. I thought, like if platforms to watch this event, but no, I think yeah. you're right. Yeah, it's just Steam. It's just a PC thing. Jesus, that's boring. <laughs> that's really boring. Yeah. No, that, I'm, it, yeah, it's very strange. Like um, that. It, huh. it, it, but he says more to join later. So I mean, maybe we'll get more. You know, we'll get PlayStation. Maybe we'll get Xbox in there. Microsoft. Which yo, let me host it. I mean, yeah, let, Keely, uh, Keely. That. No, I mean Keely. I mean, of course, you know, you, you, you can do what you want, but you know, if you need. A PlayStation connoisseur, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like someone to, to someone to talk to the to yeah. the people. Someone uh, who's already, you know, I've known by the people. I, I have a better idea. Let me do the pre and post show. Look, man, you Let don't get do you don't get anything that you don't ask for. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna tweet him after this, but yo, let me do the pre and post show. What's the problem? Yeah, the PlayStation what, what? Source community needs to go out and back you on that. I'm I mean yeah, I mean, I have no other rebuttal, simply. Um, but yeah, so the Steam Game Festival, I guess you're right. Yeah, it will be all just... But what's what's crazy is that like on the artwork for this, there's, there's a controller. And I'm like, okay, you know, you know, games and controllers, you know. But like, if it's a Steam thing, it's only going to be PC, like... With a Steam controller? <laughs> 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 this is going to be whack, bro. Uh, oh, I mean, man. it won't be whack for PC people. PC will love it, but I'm gonna watch just 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 because I'm curious as to how this all goes down for the summer without E3. It's gonna be cra- dude. I I I I don't think we even fathom like how weird it's gonna be to not have an E3 this summer. It's. I mean, I'm already so used to weird now because of all of this like lockdown and I stuff. Mean, like right. no, nothing phases me anymore. I've, I'm like. It's like if somebody they could come on tomorrow and be like, "Oh yeah, uh, Christmas is canceled," and I'd be like, "All right, all right, fuck it." Yeah, you know, <laughs> I mean, I wasn't expecting it anyways. You it's know, just, like it, they could tell me my birthday's canceled because damn, of COVID nineteen. Wait, be like, what's your birthday, homie? July 9th. Oh shit, yep. let's go. Yeah, dude, oh, it's man. basically canceled at this we'll, point until you know we we'll don't like know a what's Discord. Going. Yeah, we all we all we all we all have like a Discord like party, you know what I'm saying? Like get drinks, you know what I'm well, saying? All I'm down with that. Like figure it out. And just have a bunch of people getting wasted and like uh, all these little Discord like pop ups. Do do. But man, it is upsetting to see. Uh, um, wait, what's wait, what's the thing? Hold on, there's some, oh right, E3 not not being December because like yo, every summer as long as I can remember, I've watched E3. Yeah, you know, me too, man. Too I, I mean, I was watching E3 when I was like, what, 10, 11, yeah. 12. It's like, tragic. It's tragic. It just blows my mind, dude. Tragic. I remember sitting there watching freaking coverage from Adam Sessler and Morgan mm, Webb. My yeah. boy, that deep cuts. Oh, there we go. Goodness. G4 TV. Let's get it. Uh, mm. Make Shout me cry. Me. Shout no. out <laughs> But what almost made me cry this morning was Sony announcing this is, you know, here we are 50 minutes into the episode, finally going into our topics for this week. Sony announced the play at home initiative. 
this morning on PlayStation uh, blog. Don't know if you saw it, but there are some really cool things here. So the first thing uh, is that on the PlayStation blog, they announced, of course, the, the, the Play at Home initiative has two components to it. The first one is that um, uh, they established a $10 million relief fund for developers who find themselves out of pocket during this time. So this is meant to be specifically for indie studios within, I, I don't know how, if you're talking like, I, I, I doubt it's just first party because that's not a lot of, you know, studios, but like, I feel like it's, it's, I believe it's for all, you know what? Let me, let me not tie it on my ass. Let's just, let's just read the blog. Let's, let's pull up the blog, shall we? And we'll break it all down. So here we go here. So in the, Independent developers are vital to the heart and soul of the gaming community, and we and we understand the hardships and financial struggles that many smaller game studios are facing. With that, SIE, Sony and Rival Entertainment, has developed a fund to support them during this time. We have earned marked ten million ten million dollars to support our our independent developer partners. More information about the fund, including participation criteria, will be made available soon. So it seems like it's for like ev ev you know like as long as you fit the criteria. And you're a indie dev, you can tap into this fund if you need it. I think I think that's a great move. Yeah, I, that's, I mean, that's, I'm that, sure that's, that that's that's great. Yeah, that's that's gonna be super helpful to a lot of people. Oh yeah, for I know. Sure. For sure. I know a lot of people are struggling right now. Absolutely, absolutely, yeah, yeah, hundred percent. I agree. I agree. Yeah, and like, um, like part of me kind of, I like feel like I like low key know that Yoshida was behind this, right? Of course, famous Shuei Yoshida. Uh, yeah. You know, and because as of November, when Jim Ryan took over as the president of Worldwide Studios, uh, who formerly was, you know, Shuei Yoshida, uh, he went and took up a different role within PlayStation to um, better better facilitate and better bring independent developers to the platform. And that's, yeah. what, he, that's what he's been doing lately. So I feel like, this this seems like a Yoshida move, but who who really knows? But shout out to him nonetheless. But yeah, yeah. Either way, shout out to Shuhei, bro. Oh, that's it facts. Doesn't even matter. Oh, oh, absolutely. Whether he did this or not, he gets the shout out. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. But what we will be getting as the regular common folk, if you're not if you're not an indie developer, you will be getting access to two games. One of them being Uncharted, Nathan Drake Collection, mm. and Journey. So everyone on PS4 will be able to download these games, right? Number one, nice. Journey is fantastic. Journey is a yeah. must-play game. Phenomenal. If you haven't, go play it, right? The second one is that if you are also a Plus subscriber for the month, you can get Uncharted 4, which is free on PS Plus right now, as well as download this Uncharted collection and get all of the Nathan Drake story Uncharted's on PS4. It's wow. great. It's great. It's tremendous. That is great. Tremendous. And and I'm appreciative that like, hey, you know, they could have tapped Night Dog and like, hey, listen, like, can we just get, you know, Lost Lost Legacy? Or like, hey, you know, can we get, you know, I mean, pretty much Lost Legacy because they just gave away not gave away, but Last of Us was the PlayStation Plus of October twenty nineteen. So or or September. I forgot which one, but it was one of those two. But I'm really glad that they chose Nathan Drake Collection because there's three full games right there. Uncharted 1, 2, and 3. Remastered for, remastered for PS4. So pretty cool to see that they are move, m m making those moves. And if you have not played these games, you need to go play them. And now you have no excuse. None at all. Now you have no excuse. So moving on. Silent Hills, PS5. Now, Jamel. You tell me you're a Silent Hills fan. I was. I was, am. Was. Was. I, it's am. not a thing anymore, right? What's going on? What's I up tell with you, Silent Hills? It just might be. So we had, I'm going to mess up this name, but I'm going to try my best, okay? Uh, Su, Suheido Maruo. God, that's horrible. Sounds good to me. Oh, my God. <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> uh, looks like uh, he is known for uh, his work on various horror mangas. Um, and he was on his Tumblr account. 
and Instagram account and posted two screenshots of him going to a meeting in Tokyo where one of them was showing off that he was in like a mid Midtown East Konami building what the sign said. The other one said afternoon invitations. Hope you'll join in. And it shows Silent Hills in like this poster that looks like a tombstone. Hmm. And that's all we got. So <laughs> so we're we're getting a lot of like Silent Hills type, uh, you know, like teasers going on in the past couple weeks. The past couple months, it feels like. Yeah. You know, like yeah. what's going on? What's, I mean, what's happened here? I mean, I can further give you a little bit more because there's even rumors of more Silent Hills. And maybe these two things are connected. Uh, but it looks like we had, let's see here. So let me, let me get the right quote here. Okay, here we go. So according to rumor monger Dusk Gollum, not sure if you know him, whatever, but uh, he was on recent era recently and he claims that a Silent Hill reboot has been in, in production for about 18 months. Now, a Silent Hill reboot or a Silent Hills reboot? Oh, I forgot. Those matter. Um, Silent Hill. Silent, okay. So Silent Hill, and okay. it connects with the previous story, which is – oh, wait. No, it's not. The, the, the manga artist that went to Konami – that I just talked about is Silent Hills. And this Silent, Silent Hills. So, so they're talking about bringing back PT. Both. So, like Silent Hills, that that whole little situation. The um, uh, now now I just <laughs> messed up. I, I just mean, want to keep. To- I thought for the longest time that those two were just interchangeable. <laughs> I didn't even notice that there was a Silent Hill and a Silent Hills. Yeah, because so Silent Hills was the gonna be the official reboot of Silent Hill, and now they're talking about just bringing back Silent Hill as its own thing, and then doing Silent Hills as its own thing. You know, like that, that's or at least that's what I'm ca- catching from this, because you know Silent Hills famously was gonna be a collaboration between. You know, Sony and uh, Kojima uh, and Konami. Yeah, and, and what what's what's his name? What why Kojima? did I just forget his name? Kojima. Yeah, it was gonna be Kojima's thing, and it was gonna have uh, the dude that they you know the Walking Dead guy. What's his name? Norman Reedus. Uh, Norman Reedus. Why am I forgetting? I got you, bro. Name? I got you, bro. It gets I confusing you, whenever bro. you go into all this Silent Hill stuff because it's like. Is Norman Reedus going to be a part of this? Is is Kojima going to be a part of this, or know, is man. it going to be its own thing? Like, what is what is? Here, I mean, look, I mean, here's what I'll say, right? And I think you can get behind this too. Is that look, we have talked for weeks, and even though the Silent Hill, Silent Hill thing before these two things popped up were quote unquote like disproven by Konami, so that no, it's not happening. Uh, yeah, there's there's too much smoke for there not to be fire. I agree. Way it too much. It sounds like a, a big old fire. I agree. I agree. There's 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 way too much that people are digging up and way too much that people are pointing to for there not to be anything there. Yeah. So I I agree. Yeah, I I think there's something Silent Hills or Silent Hill for PS5. Something. I don't think there's it's got to like, be. Yeah. I don't think it's launch day. Honestly, no, I don't think it's launch day for the most uh, part. Well, see, I don't know about launch, but I I just I think that we're going to get an announcement of something like oh, yeah. pretty soon. Yeah, I think it'll be at the like public the like not not for game devs like the Road to PS5 Mark Cerny talk, but like when the common gamers get the PS5 announcement, I think that's when we're going to see something about it, but Yeah. Speaking on to some other rumors as well. We have Resident Evil 4 Remake that is also being rumored to be in development. And it looks like they are looking for a 2022 release date. So they're going to skip next year. Well, actually, next year will be Resident Evil 8. We'll get 8. Yeah, yeah we'll get yeah, that. that 8 makes sense. Village or whatever it's called. Yeah, yeah, that, that we talked about last week. Oh, yeah, we 
Last that we last didn't talk about last week because last week didn't happen. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so so yeah. I mean, we're 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 pretty certain there's going to be a um, Resident Evil Eight, you know, village, yeah. and then we're also now pretty certain. Well, it's all rumors, but it's pretty obvious this stuff is going to happen. You to know be, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. To be fair, Push Square does report that uh, the video game, the video games chronicle, was the one that first broke the story, and they seem to be very reputable with a lot of reliable information in the past. And they are said that like it is 100% in development right now. Um, it is being supported by Studio M2, which I'm not 100% sure which team did M, um, like which one did what. I think from what I hear from other podcasts, I'm not sure if this is true because I have no, I have no, I have, the, I have no info ahead of me. But I think that they're the ones that did Resident Evil 3 remake recently. Like, I think that's why a lot of people are like, oh, man, like, they're going to turn around. Okay, like, that's what they're working on now? Okay, cool. I don't I don't think that they did, but I think um, the, the, the correlation there is that Capcom is kind of, like, teaming up with other people. And they have done with the other remakes is that they've teamed up with oh. other, you know. So I think that's kind of, like, the, the, the correlation there is that, like, it's not out of the ordinary for them to team up with somebody else on these remakes to get them done. You know, it's not just Capcom, right. you know, like this one supposedly headed up by like, a um, somebody from platinum games or something, or like previously was that platinum games? I, I don't know. Interesting. Interesting. Hmm. Well, there is that. I mean, I would like to see an RE4 remake just cause I never, I mean, I'm a little biased. I had never played resident evils. You know what I'm saying? So, like, there is that. Um, but also, uh, what was I saying? Uh, I lost my train of thought. Wow. Um, oh, uh, like, I know, like, a lot of people are kind of, like, hesitant on, on, um, wow. I am losing, uh, yo, I'm, I'm losing it. Bro, that are you I'm remake. losing it. Oh, my God. Okay, Resident are Evil 4. Doesn't need or a RE4 remake. remake. Yeah, I have heard that like it doesn't need a remake necessarily. How do you feel about that? Mm. I mean, like uh, the thing is, is like even the original, you know, like uh, creator of RE4, like the head dude on 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 RE4, was kind of like, I don't think it needs, you know, he he declined to to be like the head designer on this apparently, but he's saying that he's gonna be there. And like he's gonna give advice on it or something like that, hmm. you know. So like I I don't really know what the whole deal is with that, but like I think it needs a remake, uh, just because I loved it and I would love to see it get remade in this engine. Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. Well, looking forward to next year, twenty twenty one in January. Looks like we may be getting Resident Evil Eight. And we did get another rumor this week that they will be supporting PSVR. Wow. Which is that would be which awesome. Is, which is nice to hear. Uh I mean, you know, granted it's not confirmed at all, but uh, you know, uh yeah. that is a new rumor that it will be but now a lot of people are going into question of like they know that the original PSVR will be compatible with PS five, but there's a lot of questions involving the PSVR and like PS5 right now. Like just just off of that controller, you know, about how like yeah. how is it going to track if there's no light bar? But I digress. Uh, so there's like rumors of like, man, like will the PSVR version only be compatible on the PlayStation 4 version of the game? Which I think that is highly doubtful. But like I think I I could kind of see it happening, or is that you have to use the DualShock Four on PS Five to do the PSVR on Resident Evil Eight? Yeah, know? that 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 makes more sense to me. Is yeah, that like you'll that. probably just have to use a uh, yeah DualShock Four. Wouldn't that which be something? Is compatible yeah. with the PS Five apparently. Wouldn't that be something where they say that like yeah, all right guys, so the PSVR we didn't lie, like it works with the PS Five. But you got to use a DualShock Four. <laughs> like, I mean, it, it it would it would be weird, but at the same time, I mean, the PS VR now 
uses the move controllers precisely you know like yeah. which were kind of like ancient well, that technology. was a ps3 thing PS3. yeah yeah ps3 ancient tech so, ancient tech mm-hmm. ancient technology i tell you but uh are you excited to well, did you play resident evil 7 yeah right i did yeah i did own you, it yeah. did you i mean do you want them to keep up that first person you know in spite of them even absolutely doing P- psvr or not like you would want the first person okay yes I, I mean, I think it makes it scarier. Like, I think it makes it ten oh, times scarier. There's, there's, there's a, there's a not significant. I feel. I mean, I can't imagine significant, but definitely a marginal like increase in like immersion when you're in first person. Yes. You know, for sure. for sure. Immersion in horror, not immersion in the story. Right. Just, yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. 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 Well, what we will be allegedly be playing. Day one of PS5 is exclusive game Godfall, which uh, it was technically the first PlayStation 5 game ever announced, which is a really cool thing to have mm-hmm. under the belt. Pretty cool. Uh, published by Gearbox, not developed by Gearbox, but published by Gearbox, being developed by Counterplay Games. I haven't heard of this studio, but looks like they are doing this game. And it's meant to be like an open world looter shooter, but it's like a hack and slash. Yeah, so it's gonna be like a mix of like yeah, you know, of like a platinum or like a platinum game combat type with like situation. division like format. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Seems, I mean, it sounds cool. It sounds cool, you know. But uh, they they did reiterate here that you know this will be a PlayStation Five specific game like because there was a lot of questions of like hey is it gonna be like a cross-generation game which we got a lot of during during the ps4 i mean like yeah like during the ps4 early days and xbox one early days where we got a lot of cross-generation games um like i know ones off the top of my head like cod ghost was uh came out on like seven platforms something crazy like that you know like something insane like that it was it was it was ps3 ps4 360 xbox one Wii U and like PC and, yes. and something else. It was like some, it was like some crazy amount of games. I mean, of platforms, but um, yeah. So, I mean, there's not really a lot here other than just that. Like they reiterated that like, yo, this is going to be only PS five. Uh, and they, and they say that like, you know, thanks to the PS fives, you know, um, SSD and different aspects like that, that that's the main reason why it wouldn't even work on PS four, even if they wanted to. So, yeah, that's that. Not a lot there, but just figured I'd mention that. You know, always nice to talk about PS Five. Another thing about PS Five. Did you see that demo that they did of the PS Five hardware, where they showed off Spider Man PS Four running on PS Five and how much faster Peter was swinging through the world? Yeah, yeah, I remember that it was like a, a big deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there were many, and there were mainly like telling like not only like the power of it, but like also like the fact that you know it's that it's running on the SSD, so the move, so like the like the world can load faster, which means that you can move theoretically faster in the game. Yeah, if, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. So like, they what came out this week um, was that that tech that they were running that symbol of of uh, Spider-Man PS4 on was actually an early dev kit running in a low speed uh frequency. Wow. So that so was yeah. Not yeah. even it's not even max. Its final form. Nope. 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 That's and like cool. it was impressive because like he could he could like fast travel uh it would take the PS4 like 15 seconds and in the low powered low speed dev kit it was doing it in 0.8 seconds. So eight right. tenths of a second. It was it was doing what it took the PS4 15 seconds to do. So so it's going to be even quicker than that, though, in theory. is what you're saying. In, 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 theory. in theory. Yeah. Like, Man. I don't know, like, how much faster it can get in terms of, like, if this is, quote, unquote, low speed, like, is the yeah, gap what, between what low and high like so small that it may be what it'll go to like 0.5 flat, you know, and you're only shaving like three tenths of a second, you know, like it's going to be like that. Who knows? But pretty cool to see out there. It's just nice to add like a little context, to like what, what we've seen in terms of games running on PS5 that like, hey, what what we've seen 
is like the low power, like like the low speed. You know what I'm saying? So, Pretty it's cool. exciting, exciting yeah. news. It definitely is. Did you ever play Crisis? I didn't. You didn't. I, I Me did neither. not play Crisis. Me neither. But it looks beautiful. I mean, I remember looking up videos of it like even back in the day on youtube like just because of like the the talk about how crazy the graphics were and yeah, stuff man. like that do you re- remember those means of like yeah but like can it run crisis <laughs> like you know what yeah I'm saying? that's, like, a, that's yeah. what i'm saying yeah, yeah yeah it was a very unique time well the crisis twitter account tweeted out the first time in like three years and it just said receiving data. Yeah, that's so crazy, dude. It's so I, crazy. So what, yo? I mean, hey, but it's funny because I saw this tweet like personally, like I saw this tweet, right? And didn't think anything about. I was like, huh? I Same. What that means. I was yeah, like, I was like, I was like, wow, interesting. Yeah, it, I was just and like, then. Huh. Later, I read an article as I was preparing for my own podcast, and I was like, wait a minute. Oh, Christ. You know, (laughs) it's like I I saw this and didn't even, like, what kind of podcast host am I? You know, like, I I saw this and didn't even think a thing about it until somebody told me to think something about it. And I was like, oh, okay. I'm stupid. (laughs) <laughs> so but but now now i'm pretty excited because like i want to know what this is why, like why would they bring crisis back now here's what no? i think it is here's what i think it is i think we're going to next gen right and i think ea um you know i don't i think they've said that the battlefield game that they are developing right now isn't going to be ready for launch for the next gen i think they've said that right so what if they just roll out a remaster collection for for like day one ps5 xbox that that would be cool you know and also i mean like it just makes sense i i guess i I guess it makes sense because there's you know like they already like you said they already said it's not gonna be ready you know but 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 what why like i'm i'm just i don't know i mean my my brain is like tired not not like just specifically because of the time, but because of everything that's going on, you know? <laughs> right. right. <laughs> it's like, you know, with all these development, like delays and stuff like that, it just blows my mind that like we're going to get a crisis, you know? I don't like, know why it's like, I feel like, does this just seem like, so oddly like right but yeah. very out of left field i very don't know why i have those mixed feelings of like if you were to tell me hey is crisis a relevant ip absolutely not number one number two do i see it ever coming back i would have probably told you no last week no I would out, <laughs> i'm like no like probably not like you know they have apex They're, sorry my bad they have apex you know what i'm saying like they did a lot with that father order uh, and they probably likely have plans to improve on that. They still have the Star Wars license. You know what I'm saying? So like, it seems like, like, you know, like Crisis was a thing. And now it's not, you know. But I don't know why. It just feels right. I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see how this this pans out. Watch it. I mean, watch it not even be a thing. Like, yeah, watch, watch it just be, be like. like Sorry, wrong Twitter account. My my bad shit. That, they they were like, was, oh god, god, now we have to make a crisis. Like, Who posted this on the crisis Twitter account? <laughs> Larry, what the fuck? Like, like you I'm know what sorry, saying? Larry. <laughs> but um, what was I gonna say? I mean, I think it could be interesting if they put out a remaster to kind of gauge interest in like a crisis four, in theory, or like a crisis yeah. like colon like whatever they want to call it. Like I don't know. Like what's the most generic title to a game that you can give? coming out of like hibernation like crisis origins or like crisis rebirth or like you know know. or crisis recalculated yeah crisis like (laughs) 
crisis like serenity like have like a cool like be anything dual. yeah i don't know yeah like anything like that it's probably gonna happen though <laughs> crisis it's gonna origins. happen <laughs> crisis origins so hey I how mean, many I, origins can we have to honestly i mean clearly from crisis what crisis odyssey no crisis I'm just kidding. odyssey bro <laughs> let's fucking get it well, I guess we will see what happens with Crisis, hypothetically speaking. Of course, you can uh, follow up with us on Safe Slot, where we will likely talk about it now that mm-hmm. we've w- willed it into existence. The last topic I have here is not really so much a PlayStation focused topic, it's more of just like an industry, industry worldwide topic. Uh, so, the European ratings board, Peggy, already had a symbol for this, but it looks like the ESRB here in the States are following suit. So these rating boards are meant to, of course, uh, give ratings to these digital games that we all love so dearly um, as to the effect to not have the government do it for us, you know? So it's, yeah. so e- it's a good thing. ESRB is a great thing to have. Yeah, yeah, for sure. For sure. Definitely a great thing to have. Definitely great to, uh, you know, still keep the gaming industry, um, you know, out of the tamperings of, of government per se. And in terms of just like having us be able to govern ourselves in terms of like ratings you know what i'm saying uh so the esrb have added an additional item to one of the games uh labels that they have on the back of games you know of course nudity you know alcohol well so what like blood violence you know, etc right the new one here now is going to address the random items so it now says in-game purchases and there is a now optional quotation that they can add when they see fit that says includes random items so this is of course to address the rng in a lot of different um games like for example like loot boxes you know what i'm saying um and i feel like overall as an industry we're in the middle of that transition of like getting away from like loot boxes being random in exchange for like the battle pass system which i think is a lot better system and stuff like that and you know different things like that and like honestly i never had an issue i never had an issue with loot boxes as long as they were cosmetic only you yeah know? yeah it's not a big deal to me either yeah i mean yeah. as long as it's like yeah like it doesn't affect the gameplay yeah yeah whatever the, the like minute you throw in like a new gun or like a new perk you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't care if that perk is, like, weak or that gun is weak. It's still affecting and changing gameplay yeah. fundamentally. So that it's is... It's still... It, it yeah. walls off people, Absolutely. you know, that don't have the money to do it or 100%. just don't want to put want to money do. into yeah. that. It's like, I already paid for this game. You know? Absolutely. Like, Absolutely. Yep. Absolutely. And, like, I'm, I'm a little bit different with that in terms of, like, free-to-play games. Even then, play, I still think it's a it's a bad deal. I still uh, don't you know. like it, but like with 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 free to play, it's like I can you, you kind of yeah. I can <laughs> kind of understand that, you know. Yeah. But if I paid for a game, and your loot boxes have game affecting items in it, then nah, that's that's a no go, you know. No. But yeah, so it looks like uh, you know, they're gonna add these labels to games that see fit as they see fit, and I, I, I think I mean I put out a tweet this morning. Honestly, I was half asleep when I put this tweet out. I went back to read it. I was like, you know, Kev, like that was a very nice way of putting it. Actually, I'm gonna read it. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna read it because, like, I was like, man, Kev, like that was a very like potent, you know, tweet that you put out at like five in the morning when you couldn't sleep. Like, uh, let's see what I said. So here we go. Just saw this. A great step in the industry overall. Putting power in the hands of the consumer to have all the information they'd like to know before purchase is always a positive thing. I like it. I like that. Yeah, and I, I probably would have seen it, but like, like I said, I've I've only randomly been jumping onto Twitter. There was a time where I was like, you know what, I'm I'm gonna get my Twitter game. Mm. You know, yeah, online. I remember, I remember. Yeah, but I just I haven't been tweeting, man. I need to get back on there, bro. I, I'm so bad it. about that, bro. Listen. I've been focused on Twitch right now. I can only do so many things. At I once, feel you, so bro. I feel you. I, mean, I apologize. Hey that i haven't seen your tweet but i think that was a that's a good tweet Shout out. now that you've read it to me i you know think what? that's a what? especially for, like you said for 5 a.m yeah yeah job, i man. was like kevin wow it's, it's, look at you you might be a little bit smart here you might be a little bit smart but uh probably not but my <laughs> the, the probably not. The, don't, don't hate on yourself like that you got solid tweets over there the final 
question of the week. We're going to skip over the Taj segment. There is nothing Taj uh, related. Um, and if something happens in Last of Us, stay tuned for Road to Part 2 this week uh, on the channel. But uh, question of the week. Will we continue to see Resident Evil remakes up to 6? What are your thoughts? It's tough because it's like after – obviously, we'll see Code Veronica. Really? We got to see Code Veronica. Yeah, that's going to happen. Why? It's gonna happen. Can you make like a pony? Like, I'm not against you. I just want to know the like reasons why it's like so. Just insane. because people loved Code Veronica and like so many people are asking for Code Veronica. You know, like, I just think it's going to happen. And um, I'm surprised that they're jumping to four before we get a Code Veronica, you know? So uh, I think we'll see that. Hmm. Five is not old enough to need it you know it, it's like oh four is almost not old enough to need it like you were saying yeah yeah right 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 like it, it can the same be said for five as well like it like in terms of like hey like these these games are like relatively like that'd be like remastering like the original Watch dogs like it's not yeah. necessarily that needed i'm sure it'd be cool but not necessarily that needed yet you know? Yeah, because uh, because um, RE5 was on the 360 and the PS3. Like, it's not that far old. away. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. But and, and, I know you were telling me in the pre-show, not like pre-show, like we have a pre-show, but like before we started recording, that you said that like there was a hiatus in Resident Evil. When did that partake and how long was that actually? Because I, I don't know. I, I don't think that there was a, a hiatus. It's just that there was like a... It just wasn't I don't know how to explain it. it. It it just wasn't the same. When RE5 came out, people were pretty upset, you right. know, <laughs> especially on the hills of RE4 and also like it not being like because RE4 was more actiony than RE2 and RE3. I feel like with each new installment into Resident Evil, it just gets a little bit more action packed. Right. It, until you until you hit five and it's just like oh it's all out we're five, going like right five yeah, was just like six was even worse you know and yeah. like nobody likes six and uh, as far as i know interesting. you know interesting so. interesting interesting i mean though i, would, I did like five i would I like to them. see like what if like they treat these remakes like you know of course they'll up the visuals you know of course they'll you know do this and the third whatever but like what if like they address that like very action heavy feeling to those games like like what if they make it a little bit more like you know survival horror like not like complete survival horror but like what if they like tone the action down and make it a little bit more tense like you know and that would be cool yeah like right? I, I mean you know like i i think if they can find a way to make five more horror focused and more uh strategic rather than just like all out guns blazing like uh the cool thing about re5 was that it was just it, it was fully like local co-op like me and brent played that game together like on the same uh 360 like we just sat there and played that game uh and it was fun it was fun as hell dude but it wasn't a fun r or it wasn't a fun resident evil i can totally see that no yeah actually yeah i mean like there's plenty of like fine games that we play with friends and like it's a fun time you know like it's not like like the game is good it's just a fun time yeah with like a pretty okay game i can i could definitely see that you could see its inspiration from like call of duty (laughs) like isn't that weird like you can see a call of duty inspiration and resident evil which that is so tragic because like if you asked me to link any game with Resident Evil 2, like, you would never I, say I remake, Call of Duty. I would have never said Call of Duty. Did you play Call of Duty? Or uh, did you? No, I'm sorry. Did you play Resident Evil 5? No. 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 I have, okay. I have only played RE2 and RE3 remakes. Have you watched any like video, like gameplay footage of it? Go watch that. Like, oh, and God. then the next time that, like, it's not a bad thing. Like, I honestly don't think Resident Evil 5 was bad. I just don't think it was Resident Evil, you know. Right, like right, Brent, right. Brent would say otherwise. He's like, "Oh, the menu's the same and all this stuff." I'm not. I'm not. I'm not saying that Brent's wrong. If Brent was here, 
you know, he could, he could, that's the only reason why I don't say that Brent's wrong is because he's not here. If he was here, I would totally say he was wrong because he could back Damn. himself up. <laughs> but, uh, but I don't think it was like a normal Resident Evil game. So I don't know if we'll get a remake of that. You know what I'm saying? So, but go watch it. And then on the next episode, we should bring that back up just to, Honestly, just to talk about it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. Resident Evil 5. I'll, I, I, I look at some gameplay. Yo, me going to RE6 even. Mm. RE6 is <laughs> just too far gone. RE6 too far is, gone. <laughs> RE6 is too is too offensive. I feel that. I feel yes. That. Well. Yes. Look at this. Almost an hour and a half. Couple of cup. Couple of guys being dudes. Couple of dudes being guys. The parents just are dudes away. Dudes being dudes. You know, you know what, what I'm saying? saying? A couple of a couple of all that. You know what I'm saying? Jamel, where can the people find you, good sir? You can find me along with my co-host Brent on Game Speak podcast where we talk about uh basically all gaming news you know this this is our playstation outlet whenever we come over here uh you know so we don't get as deep into playstation over there but if you want to hear us talk about everything you know, you know then that's going to be the place to go so game speak podcast uh you know on what are all the podcast platforms man they're they're all App- they're, we're on all of them you know, <laughs> Apple Podcasts, Google Play Podcasts, Spotify, you know, Stitcher Radio, all the good stuff. You know what I'm saying? Podbean yeah. as well. Uh, you know, and probably the same places where you you can find GameSpeak Podcast. And, of course, links below in the description to, you know, of course, GameSpeak Game Podcast as well as uh, Tajay and all the other hosts, you know, down below in the description. You can also find places and source links down below as well. And uh, the same places that you find GameSpeak Podcast, you can probably find our podcast too. Places and source podcast feed. Down below, there is an anchor link where uh, it's all aggregated into one little link where you can go click on that and it'll take you to a page that shows all the different podcast services that we are on. Uh, that includes Apple Podcasts, Google Play Podcasts, Bob, all the good stuff. You can follow us on there as well as down below Twitter at PS Source Vids, you know, down below as well. Everyone else's Twitter and as well as the Discord uh, channel that Jamel was talking about uh, where he found Starks to play Warzone. You can go over there and maybe. Maybe you can be the next person to play with Jamel, you know? Hey, man. You never know. Or even with Kevin yeah, or with me, me at the yeah. same time. <laughs> you can play with both of us. You know what I'm saying? Pause. But, you know, play Warzone <laughs> with both of us. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. Yeah, we, we could have a – I don't want to say a threesome. It could be a trio a sum. Trio. I don't know. A, 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 a trio. Absolutely. A trio. A trio. A trio. <laughs> A tree, a trio, absolutely. <laughs> but uh, yep, that's been episode eleven. A long time coming, too long at that. Too long Pause. coming for episode. Pause. Wow. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we will. We will, of course, have the parents home uh, next podcast. Hopefully, uh, you know. And if not, you know, roll with us. We're in. We're in. We're in dire times. You know. Yeah. Stay inside. What? Wash your hands, you know, and wash, uh, them. wash them. And uh, thank you for watching Save Slot Podcast. And as always, greatness, greatness awaits. awaits. I'll say it with you because there's there's no other cast. There's no one here. <laughs> Shout out to y'all. Later, guys. Later. <laughs> whoa, whoa, where'd everyone go? <laughs>